The work in the research stream on justice borders and rights addresses real life problems and has an impact on real people. One example of that is the research on how refugees have used smartphones and digital media on their journeys. This has resulted in the European Commission deciding to fund a project and a website where reliable information is produced for people who are migrating to Europe and for those who've already arrived. Another example of the impact of the work that we're doing within this research stream is a collaboration where we have been for the past three years organizing a, a multi-platform event together with Tate Modern's uh, interactive arm, <clears throat> if you will, the Tate Exchange, and bringing debates within academia uh, between academics, artists and activists around issues of migration, participation and belonging to a wider audience. So these events have prompted new engagements with young people, migrants, refugees on issues that affect us all. So one example is that we've been able to discuss the outcomes of ongoing research on climate change and migration in Cuba, for example, or working conditions of precariousness and how that affects um, people within the arts, but also outside arts sector. And of course, also how families survive and are challenged by the often difficult journeys of migration. Many of these debates have also been translated into open access learning resources. And that is one way in which we make a difference by bringing cutting edge research about issues that affect us all to a wide range of people through these learning resources and education. An important part of the work that we're doing within this research stream is to explore notions of borders, how people claim rights, but also bringing into being perhaps new and challenging understandings of what social justice is and should be.